Alright guys, Mr. G here with a game review today. I have been waiting for Battletech for a long, long time. I don't know about you guys, but I grew up playing MechWarrior on my Pentium 2. I played MechWarrior Mercenaries for a ton. I played Mech Commander. I've played so many MechWarrior games, it's not even funny, and way too much MechWarrior online. So I was very excited to see that they were working on a new Battletech franchise. Now imagine if MechWarrior and XCOM had a baby. Well, this particular Battletech game would be that baby. Now let's talk about this thing. It's produced by Paradox Interactive, coming at you from Harebrained Scheme Studios. Uh, what is going on with this game? Well, it's basically a turn-based strategy game using mechs with cinematic camera. So what are we going to do? We're going to talk about pros and cons so far. One of the big pros you get with this game coming out the door is you get some very cool intro scenes and some really neat art. Whoever they hired to do their illustration and art was on point. Uh, this game captures MechWarrior lore. It starts us out further on in the MechWarrior timeline, and it seems to follow canon pretty well. Um, one of the other pros to this game is it's going to run on older machines, and, and the graphics are nice. It reminds me a lot of the old Mech Commander 1 and Mech Commander 2 graphics, except not in real time but a lot slicker. And it also has destructible environments, the weapon animations are pretty good, and the art style overall is just really good. And they capture the mech frames and the iconic mech styles of the mechs that you know and love. You know, you've got your Atlas, your Blackjack, your classic mech warrior mechs, and you're gonna recognize those in game. You're not gonna be utterly sad to see some fake knockoff type mechs, no. These are iconic battle mechs here. All right, what other things do we have going for it with this game? Well, it has one of those easy to learn, hard to master combat systems. There's a lot going on under the hood. I haven't had a chance to play as much as I want with the battle, but I feel like there's a lot going on and there's a lot of potential there. If you're one of those people that likes XCOM and just getting the perfect character, you're going to enjoy this game. You're going to enjoy tweaking and customizing your mechs and your pilots and getting everything as close to just the way you want it as possible. Uh, what are the cons with this game? Well, I'm going to tell you right now I'm super biased because I love the genre, so I didn't find a lot. Um, some of the voice acting, like in the actual battles and skirmishes themselves, were a little bit meh. There's some animation clipping of mechs going through other mechs and trees, but nothing too bad. And some of the stuff, you know, combat was not explained super thoroughly in the tutorial, but that's really it. This is a polished like game. We live in an age where You're people are used to dealing with early access and beta stuff released as an entire game. Well, this game is actually an entire game released as an entire game. And not only that, it gives us a single player campaign story and multiplayer and skirmishes. It's really nice to see uh, devs making a complete game and giving us a complete game. Is it worth $45? I think if you love the genre, it's absolutely worth $45. I know that's a little steep, but it's a good game. It's a complete game. It doesn't feel buggy. It feels polished, and it feels good. Uh, I'm going to be doing more of this game on my channel because I simply love it. If you enjoyed this review, throw us a like. And if you want more things like this, please hit that subscribe button because I'd love to see you around the channel. That's it for this one. Mr. G out.